Hey everyone, Biscuit again, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Tokyo 2020 officially licensed product, high grade 144th scale RX-78 II Gundam Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games emblem. What a mouthful. Um, this is the blue version. Uh, there are two available. There is blue, which is the one we're taking a look at today, and a red one. Uh, reason why I got blue one, it looks better. Um, and that basically covers everything for the intro. If you want this kit for yourself, I will leave a link in the description to Amazon. And yeah, that's about it. Let's get right on into the review. So, this model kit of the RX is, uh, an official Tokyo 2020 Olympics licensed product. Which is actually really cool. Um, it's really cool that Bandai actually did a collaboration, um, or whatever it is that Bandai did in order to get this an official Tokyo 2020 Olympics product. Um, something interesting I should mention, uh, about the box before we continue on with everything. Um, here's the side of it, which, uh, granted, is just saying, hey, you know, this thing is easy to build, you should do it. Tur going to this side, blur about what Gunpla is. And then this side, we've got all the warnings and stuff, um, what it, you know, the price. We do have a pretty cool sticker right here. Uh, and you can kind of see me back there. Hello. And we go to the other side, which is this. Um, but nowhere on the box and even on the promotional pictures for this kit does it actually mention the weapons, which you do get. Um, but it doesn't mention them at all, which is a little weird. Uh, although I would assume because this is a Tokyo Olympics, pro because this is an Olympics product, they might not want, you know, a, a gun on it. Because, uh, I don't know. I don't know, uh, could be the case, could not be the case. Um, let's talk about the aesthetics of this thing. So, starting off with the hands, um, you have the set of closed fists that were, whoops, on the kit throughout this whole review. You also get two pairs of widespread open hands for some more dynamic poses, and you also get one other hand, which is a trigger finger hand, which can accommodate this rifle. And yes, the scope is, uh, plastic, which is pretty cool. That goes into the hand easily and looks pretty cool. Uh, if you don't want a beam rifle, you can always tear out the hand, uh, disassemble the hand, if I can get this here, there we go, and you can always bring in the bazooka uh, with an adjustable handle, and you quite simply put the hand right there and the top of the hand right there, sandwich style. And there you go. Simple as that. And be, thanks to the handle, this thing can hold it no problem. And looks very good holding it. Now, something I will not skim over because I will forget about it later are these beam sabers. You do not get uh, beam effects with this, which is a little bit of a shame. I don't know why they didn't just throw them in there. Um, it would have been cool to have some nice blue of beam effect parts with this kit. But, I don't know, if you've collected even just a small amount of gunpla, you have some extras lying around, so it's not that big a deal. If you don't like the bazooka right there, you can always tear it off, come to the butt, and remove this piece right here. Then, you can take this clip, simply plug it in right there, and the bazooka fits in easily like that. Now, uh, let's talk about his shield, which is right here. Uh, the shield is actually really nice, um, color-wise, I mean. Uh, that is, in no small part, due to the fact that this thing, uh, t got a major color redesign. In order to attach it, uh, you can, uh, plug it into the arm like so, and there's a little, uh, handle that swings out right there, uh, which you can attach into the hand if you so choose, just to give it a bit more of a secure grip, like so. Oops, there we go. And, okay. Okay, so I have never actually had any difficulties fitting the hand onto the handle of the shield until filming this review. So even just taking the shield on and off a couple of times might wear down either the hand or the handle of the shield, I have no clue. Um, but if you so choose, you can actually equip the RX with all of its weapons. And what else to do with it but put it on a base. You get this really nice uh, white base with a Tokyo 2020 sticker on it, and you have two pegs which can each be pushed out. Now this is to accommodate for the included stand arm, which can plug into any one of these. I do not like plugging it into there because it could ruin the sticker, so I would 
probably prefer to put it in there. And it even has a little notch gimmick, so you can easily switch the position of it if you so choose. And in order to connect it to the RVX, there is a action base connector right in the bottom, and that simply goes on like, oop, oop, hey, just like that. Uh, yeah, so in case you wanted some aerial poses, you can get it. So let's move on to the articulation. So of course we will be doing this from the head down. So the head is on a polycap uh, neck, so it can have a little bit of chicken movement, actually quite a bit. Can look up about that far and down eh, not too much farther. Uh, the shoulders are on a polycap ball joint and they can pull out and... No, they cannot pull out, but they can pull up and combine that with the arm. It raises the arm all the way up to there, so no problem with the final shooting poses. You get a full swivel right above the elbow. A double jointed bend at the elbow, really nice separation right there, and very good bend. And the hands are simply on a ball joint so they can wiggle around and do everything. And the waist can go forward like so, which is actually pretty good for an RX. Um, and then it can move back about that far. Uh, the waist, uh, these front skirts are on ball joints, but uh, they come together on the runner, but they can be separated. Uh, these can also move up and down and even swing a little bit. And the butt flap is absolutely paralyzed. You're not going to get anything out of that. So in total, oh, okay, that went flying. Okay, no need to panic. I found it and all the parts to it. So the waist uh, can swivel all the way around. Um, the front skirts, like I said before, they are together but can be separated. Legs move up about that far, and because nothing at the butt flap, they move back only about that far. The legs themselves can swivel all the way around and bend on two joints. Again, some great separation right there. Um, talking about the feet, they can move down and up, and when you move them down, they actually reveal some really nice mechanical detail. Uh, this ankle guard can move up and down, and you have a little bit of a pivot. Actually, that's barely anything. Uh, but going forward and backwards is quite a bit. So, all in all, the articulation on this thing is actually really good. Uh, I'm quite surprised by it. Um, this is molded after the 2015 Revive RX-78-2, so of course Bandai will do everything they can to post this one in general. So yeah, let's move on to my final thoughts about this thing. So... Uh, this kit, um, in general, I think is actually very good. Uh, articulation is nice, it is very fun to look at, very fun to pose. The accessories are basically everything you could ask for for an RX. Oh yeah, speaking of accessories, I forgot to mention, beam rifle, uh, sight can move side to side, and same with the handle. And that's it for the beam rifle. Um, there's not a actually a lot to say about this, as I would initially have thought. It's just a color swapped RX kit with some new sticker decals which also I am gonna say I'm a little disappointed that these are stickers and not water slides because it would really suck if those were to peel off like this one already is in the long run um but yeah in general uh, everything about this is pretty nice uh, should you get it if it's available for a decent price yeah um but, uh, definitely, if you're looking for a good RX, go for just the regular Revive version, uh, which isn't a lot, and is exactly this thing just in the normal RX color scheme. So, that's it for this video. Um, please make sure to subscribe in case you want to see more videos kind of like this, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.